All right, guys, we have arrived in the staple of Malaysia, generally Asia. What am I talking about? Paddy, you know, rice. This is a paddy field, which when we process, as in process, it will be become rice. So, paddy all around. Let me show you, okay? I'm going to do a 360 and just follow me okay so paddy fields paddy fields paddy fields paddy 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 fields paddy fields rice fields paddy fields rice field yeah right all around i show you a close-up of it so uh crisscrossing the paddy fields you will see these uh a narrow canal or waterways yeah waterways is the the most suitable word to call this okay this is man-made so when the it's time to plant the rice these waterways will be filled filled up with water as you can see over here okay cross the road over here so this will be filled with water and you know they control this uh, water valve over here so these waterways will be filled with a lot of those fresh wa uh, water fish fresh water fish yeah well uh not as big as uh moby dick but i guess uh, the biggest would be around six to seven inches half feet right and even when the water are you know are flooded into the paddy fields like this even uh, you can find the what the, the fishes inside all of this in all of these puddles you know so this is actually not the best time to to film a paddy paddy field because this paddy is just uh, shoots they are paddy shoots they are growing you should come when it's time to harvest the rice my son here hello son hi. hi so when it's time to harvest the rice this will be filled with golden brown golden yellowish paddy with, with uh, rice uh, rice trees <laughs> you call it trees rice plants okay which is about knee high uh, about one or one and a half feet and it will you can see the paddy dangling from the rice plants okay this is actually promising this looks promising you can find fishes in here you can you can yeah yeah you can literally fish using worms over here you can find like the sepat fish or the uh, puyu fish i'll translate it to you okay and uh, this is very serene i can say okay more this is a smaller waterways here and uh, i want to show you this are the are the um in malay we call it batas let me try to think what it is called in english or worst come to worst i'm going to google and put it right on the screen right now this is where you use uh, they use these pathways to transport field uh, transport rice and uh, even uh, what you call it fertilizers or pesticides and this is what they use this is quite big actually yeah this pathway is here so now you know they have a lot of those advanced technologies they have these uh, big pipes to control the water waterways oh right there i think that is the gunung ledang the mount of fear which a lot of uh, hikers love to climb them it is quite challenging okay it's actually i'm trying to look uh, for scarecrows to show you all but all i can see is uh, this let me zoom in okay if you can see that see that a piece of plastic bag 
tied around a pole and when it gets blown by the wind like so it looks like one of the villains from the Harry Potter series <laughs> so you know it will not only scare the birds away I tell you it will scare me away but other than that no scarecrows around no scarecrows around funny does this mean that the birds that feeds on the rice has uh, oh, I'm so sorry I got you on zoom <laughs> does this mean that the birds that feeds on the rice has been extinct so that all these uh, by, uh, rice farmers do not need to uh, care or worry about these birds eating the paddy hmm. maybe I just saw a big ripple in this waterway over here so let's see if we can get a glance of a big freshwater fish in here let's see I saw it here just now a big ripple oh there you are you see you see that the water being so muddy that uh, it's not easy to, oh there you go it's not easy to get a glimpse of this war uh, freshwater fishes okay let me just count to five if I can get another uh, one another time of this fish um, ah there you are see I think that would be around three or four inches of oh look at that a lot of activities here guys a lot oh there you go more there okay all right so I'm going to there you go see see what are they feeding on I can tell you there are some insects that um, kind of I think uh, dipping their feet while flying on the surface of the water and just at the time and the moment that this insects touches the water the fishes will just jump out and gulp them grab them you see so i think they are uh filled they are full so that's about it anyway these are the paddy fields acres of acres of paddy fields Alright, I'm right at the middle here. And another 360 view. Oh, let me just put you up high a little bit more. There you go. If you put a sofa or a lazy boy over here, I think you can sleep for three days straight. Just listen to that. Nothing told you a proof that fishing hobbies was here look at that a part a part of a, a fishing rod right here or is this a magic one from the Harry Potter's movie as I've mentioned before to scare away that villain there the garbage plastic bag villain so guys we have been wondering what are the fishes feeding on so you can see this uh, water peddler can you see that or should I zoom in for you guys can you see that water peddler so the fishes fits on these Haha. so on this part of the waterways the water is quite clear so if we are lucky enough we can see the fishes okay uh, the the fish that i mentioned to you just now the sepat is quite presentable and pretty so if i can be lucky to show you what those uh, fishes looks like 
then I will be very happy for me and for you okay so let's show you guys the rice plant up close these are the leaves okay it does look like uh, the normal grass but uh, how do you differentiate and you see this okay these guys these guys these are the rice see okay i'm trying to press on it and it's hard so you can find rice in there so <clears throat> let me find a closer one okay look at these guys this has turned into <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> into a quite quite a oh it's empty somebody has taken the rice away so what you do with this is okay you just okay if I can uh, just oops I show you guys okay how do we open this okay guys so I got this tiny piece of rice in still inside is uh, so see that that is a uh, quite a uh, see it's a it's a white whitish liquid like 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 uh pvc pu uh pu glue but uh because it is still green if it's yellow golden yellow if you break this okay you can find rice inside of it okay this one still sprays so <laughs> so you got that white liquid there so it's not the time to harvest them yet okay guys we are not so lucky to find any fishes but we are lucky enough to see the rice plant what we have been eating with curry and asinama and fried rice it all comes from rice plants and we are lucky half lucky because we cannot find the fish but we are lucky enough to find and show you how the rice plants look like and i'm so lucky too because he said it has been uh, years about uh, 30 years no 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 20 years since i've uh, seen a rice plant up close and personal because I used to study in Kelantan and the college really is located in the middle of I mean it's surrounded by many fields so this brings a lot of memories now that's it for today guys let's see what other things I can show you from Malaysia and particularly Johor Johor see you guys guys a little bit of interlude just in time to see the paddy machine so these machines are being used to what do you call that mix around the soil so it makes the soil the ground uh, more suitable and more softer and uh, it oxidized the uh, ground so that the paddy fields the, I, mean, I mean the paddy plants the rice plants will grow healthily all right guys one more time as Moonshine says, he, al he always says uh, goodbye, 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 but he always comes back in, in one single video. So here I am doing it. Bye-bye.